Peace. I'm out here in now C, which is North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact. And today is the 6th of February. And 6 in Supreme Mathematics is symbolic to equality. And equality is a compound word. It has equal in it and it has quality in it. And when you look at any word, not only is it important to study the etymology or the origin of the word, but also to look at the synonyms and the antonyms, those words that are the opposite of the word that you're actually researching. So when you look at the word equality, there are many different synonyms that are associated with it, like balance, harmony, reciprocity, fairness, congruency, cooperation, equity. All of these words are associated with equality. So when you look at the number six, six is composed of three and three. In Supreme Mathematics, we talk about three being symbolic to understanding. So when we say equality in our language, we're talking about understanding, being understood. So if you're striving to establish a level of harmony or balance or fairness, you have to make sure the understanding is understood. You have to make sure that the person is on the same page with you, which means that's why in order to cooperate, in order to have some level of congruency, in order to have a degree of fairness and balance and harmony, you have to cooperate. You have to be able to communicate with each other so that you're basically on the same page. And that requires a consensus, not necessarily a democratic process, because sometimes you see people working in a group and they may say, well, the majority of the people that want to do this, this is what we all going to do. It may be 10 people, seven people may want to do it, but then the three people don't want to do it, but yet they got to go along with the group because that is not a consensus method. You're going to have people who are dissatisfied that may just go along to get along and that dis and that dissatisfaction may breed dissension. That dissension may breed division. And then eventually somewhere down the line, you're going to see a devil. And that is not in the best interest of establishing equality or fairness. And sometimes you have people who just make unilateral decisions for other people instead of really communicating with each other and getting the consensus of what is in the best interest of the group. Right. So that is something that is vital, you know, in terms of us being able to have some level of equality, fairness, harmony, balance, reciprocity. We have to have a consensus in terms of what are the needs of the people, what are the interests of the people, and what is in the best interest of the group or the whole. Um, like I said, I'm out here in now, now see right now, I'm in North Carolina, and you know, this is something else that's important in terms of equality. When you're striving to establish a consensus, it's good to have an environment that is peaceful, that is harmonious, that works in the best interest of what goals you're striving to reach and what you're striving to establish. If you're doing it in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of chaos, you're going to have to find a place of peace so that you can make the best decision, which is in the best interest of the group, because it's difficult to do that when you're under duress or you're under a lot of stress. You know, I'm out here. It's beautiful. You know, look at this. I could sleep out here. <laughs> you know, I left now why last night I'm out here and it was snow on the ground. You know, here is beautiful. Um, I'm just having a great time. But that's just something that I wanted to share with all of you in terms of equality. Always study the synonyms or the associated words with the word that you're striving to get a better understanding of, because that is the way you can get more of a clear perspective of how it functions or operates within the context of the way in which you're striving to utilize it. So enjoy your day. Again, it's the quality today. Peace.